Thank you, Sadhguruji. Uh, my next question is, uh, we've all seen the movie Three Idiots, and there is one dialogue, I think that's… What happened to the remaining idiots? They left them here? <laughs> So there is one dialogue in the movie that <coughs> sort of resonates with a lot of us and it says, when friend fail, it's a shame, but when the friend pass a top, it's a shame. And, uh, <laughs> and building on to how you're affected by what people do, is it, uh, my question is, it is okay to have that feeling? And if not, how do you let go of that feeling in today's environment? See, uh, you, you know, Charles Darwin, you heard of Charles Darwin? There is something called a revolution and nobody told you it's all complete. Today, some of the neuroscientists are saying the DNA difference between a chimpanzee and you is only 1.23 percent. 1.23 percent is not much of a difference, isn't it? <laughs> huh? So there is an evolutionary issue. If you don't take charge of yourself, very easily you will step back 1.23 percent. <laughs> now, if… Uh, what is that? I, I can't repeat that sentence, but anyway, if your friend uh, is… Uh, doesn't not do well, you'll feel sad about it. If he does very well, you'll feel very sad about it. <laughs> so you have fixed yourself in such a way, whichever way you cannot be happy. You… you are in a self-defeating mode, no matter what happens, you will not be happy. If you want to understand what I am saying, you go and stand out on one of the main streets in Bangalore city. Leave the poor people who are uh, selling kadlekai on the street side, leave them. People who are driving there, only look at those uh, BMWs, Mercedes and Maseratis and whatever is going around in Bangalore city, only look at the dream cars, okay? Because many of you may have dreams also of this. Just look at all these people, you think they are in a profusion of joy driving this car like that? No, only in case it's a stolen car, you see the joy <laughs> Otherwise, uh, no. So success has not brought joy, brought joy to them. If they're failed, of course they're frustrated. Because the very mode of approach is like this. If this mode of approach comes, whichever way it's not going to work. Because it's not even about you. It's always about somebody here. It's never about you. The simple thing is this. See, if your joy, your sadness, your happiness, your misery is determined by something or somebody around you, the chances of you being joyful in your life is remote. Yes or no? Is it true that human experience is created from within? Hello? Hello? I'm asking all of you. Is it true that human experience, joy or misery, agony or ecstasy, Madness or sanity, everything is created from inside. At least if you are a manager, if you are going to be a manager, at least what is happening from within you must happen your way. Because essentially management means having situations the way we want it. Yes? Management means what? Having situations the way we want it. Well, if the world is not happening your way, at least this one must be happening your way, otherwise what kind of management is this? Here there's only one person, huh? Here there are thousand people, they may not listen to you, they got their own stuff. But here there's only one person, at least here what you want must happen, isn't it? If what you want happened, would you keep yourself blissed out or miserable? What's your choice? You must choose, I'm going to bless you now. If you had a choice, would you be rather be blissed out or miserable? Huh? Blissed out, of course. So if such a thing is not happening, then all these problems come. If things work, it is a problem. If they don't work, it's a problem. If you get a seat in this institution, it's a problem. If you cannot get out of this, it's a problem. <laughs>
you like this place so much, you don't mind staying here, it's not like that. You must get in and you must get, get out ahead of others, everything. It's never about you, it's always about something else. Outside is a variable situation. Who these people are today, tomorrow we don't know what they will say, yes? Tomorrow morning we don't know what they will say. If your way of being is determined by all these people, then you are a mess, you're bound to be a mess. When you're a mess like that, see, you call yourself a friend, if they fail, you're unhappy, if they pass, you're very unhappy. Definitely we should not use the word friend in this context. <laughs> yes, competition, I agree. Not a friend, isn't it? If your friend does well, shouldn't you be very happy if they're really friendship? <laughs> Leave the friendship business. Essentially, this problem is coming because we have not taken charge of this fundamental human mechanism. This is not happening the way you want it. Is it true that your body right now is the greatest chemical factory on the planet? It is so. It is the most complex and sophisticated chemical factory on the planet. The question is only are you a great CEO or a lousy CEO? <laughs> because if you're a great CEO, you would create chemistry of bliss. If you're a lousy CEO, all these things will happen. Your industry should run the way you want, isn't it? At least this one little industry. 